Some of the JDM people don't know about this car. In fact, as I was trying to present other cars here in, in this museum, in the Lane Motor Museum, which is awesome, by the way, come here whenever you get the chance. Most JDM fans are not familiar to this car. This is one of the most successful WRC machines ever. Better than the Evo, better than the Celica GT4, better than the SDIs. Those are rookie numbers compared to this. This one had five championship, I think five, at least five championship titles on this car. This is the Lancia Delta Integrale HF or HF Integrale and here's the blurb right here see look at that 1991 and it's almost it, it's 230 horsepower already 1991 the Evolution GSR doesn't even produce that much numbers the Evo GSR or the version 1 WRX Impreza doesn't even reach 220. Well, I think the GSR Lancer does 220, but that's besides the point. This is when Lancia was, was badass back then. Now Lancia is like a shell of its former self, only building the Ypsilon or Lancia Y, which is based on a Fiat 500 that was turned into three or five doors. But this is when Lancia was kicking ass. Kayo mga Pilipino, di nyo masyado alam tong kotse na to. Pero ito yung talagang before the Focus RS, bago yung GR Yaris, bago yung STI. Ito ang... Ako, luhod ako dito sa kotse na to. I mean... Meron mas exotic version nito. Meron Evolution 2 ito. Ito Evolution 1 to. So talagang seryosong sasakyan to. This is a very serious car back in the day. But this one is luxury appointed. It's not it's not as Spartan as I what I would expect. Look at that. It's it's leather lined. Even the GSR Lancers Evo 1 or Evo 2 is not this luxurious. But this is it. This is Italy. And let me zoom it in a little bit. I'm just really, really um, all giggly on this car because this car is just WRC royalty right here. And I'm just sad that uh, Lancia or Stellantis isn't making a move of revitalizing the brand per se, but my God, see, look at that. It has some rally, rally plates already, rally skid plates on this thing. Look at that. This has a four-cylinder turbo, just like the JDM, JDM icons, the GT4 Celica, the Evos, and the SDIs. And this is back in 94, 230 horsepower. What more the Evolution 2 of this? This car will be de facto B in my graphic novel as one of those scary opponents of my main characters. Yeah, this, this is, my God, I, I, I'm a fan. Even though when I was a kid, I wasn't too familiar with European cars, but as I learned along the way, my gosh. Actually, I learned this car since Sega Rally, and this is the car that I always use in Sega Rally. I don't like how the Celica GT4 axe on the game. I like this car better. As you can see, the license plate don't fit. <laughs> but there you go, Lancia. And this is one of the first 
hardcore sports car that is a hatch. Way before the SDI did, and way before the Focus RS did. This is the, this is, if, if I have the money, I, I want to get an Evolution 2 of this. Just to, even though I'm afraid of owning an Italian car because of its reliability and some cookie, cookie electronics. There you go. One of the most successful rally cars ever made in WRC. The Lancia Delta HF Integral. And this one has a 16 valve too. If, if you want a DeLorean with turbo and a French flair, this is it. This is the Alpine GTA Turbo or Renault Alpine or Alpine, the way you depends how you pronounce it. So this is one of those rare French sports cars that was built in the late 80s and early 90s. This 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 uh this model came after then the 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 other uh, Alpine models like the A310 or something like that or that Misato Kosaragi's Evangelion car. This one is one of the la latter models before Alpine took a long hiatus during the 90s and 2000s. But I really like the styling of the, of this thing. It's edgy, Frenchy. <laughs> See? It has that. Too bad it's not in the center so I can highlight the whole car. See, it has that exhaust already. Devil exhaust. Some cars, they have Renault Alpine in the middle right there. But this, this, is, this is right for me already. The taillights reminds me of the Lotus Elan. Fog light, taillight, reverse, and turn. My gosh, this is very stylish. I like the way, I like the way this car looks like. And this is like ready to go to be shipped to the U.S. at some degree. I don't know if this is a U.S. model. No, it's not a U.S. model because it's a kilometer. Maybe it was imported in Canada or something. This is the interior of the Alpine GTA. Two plus two. Unlike the DeLorean, which is uh, strictly two-seater, I think they're based on the same platform. I'm not sure, so sure. But I know they share the same engine, but this one is turbo. See, look at that. Obligatory red text on a black interior. Of course, this is a French car. It's not as reliable as what you're used to, but look at this, it's so stylish really inspirational styling and this is the cutout for the European plates you can leave it blank but for this car I can take the exemption to put a euro license plate in the front on this because if it's smooth yeah no license plate but on this one yeah it needs a euro euro plates in here and let me show you the blurb on it For a turbo car that is a 3 liter engine, 200 horsepower turbo, it seems weak, but I don't care. It looks awesome. Sorry about the glare because the sun is about to go down soon. I'm just here for 8 hours already. <laughs> I don't care. I love this museum. If I moved here in Nashville, I'm going to be a member here. So I can drive all of these cars. <laughs> Alrighty. The Alpine GTA Turbo. I think one of the few in the US. Group B was a missed opportunity. Because of course people got killed and everything. But in my opinion, Group B Group B rally cars are awesome. And this car was almost entered at the Group B circuit. This is the Citroen, or Citroen BX4 TC all-wheel drive turbo monster. It's a 1986. I think it's one of the only few 
here in the United States, this car is stupid rare. Rarer than that Integral, rarer than that GTA over there. This is a homologated version of the Group B monster that was soon to be raced before the Group B program got canceled, which is stupid in my opinion. See, look at that. I love homologation specials. I simply love homologation specials because mere mortals like me can get an opportunity owning a piece of history, no matter what car. Doesn't matter if it's a CLK GTR, doesn't matter if it's that Integral Turbo over there, or the Evo, or the Celine S7. I just love homologated specials like this one. A replica, a close replica, not just a look. I don't like those body kit only cars. This one, I like the other BX models. This one has turbo, this one has all wheel drive. This one's badass. As you can see the interior, look at that. Look at the gauge. It's business. That's what you're, that's a home allegation special. Look at that. It has some levers and knobs down there that is functional, basic interior, just replica of that Group B monster that was never shown ever. Look at that, fog lights in the grill. That might affect cooling, but who cares? It's, it's cool. See, this is what I was talking about. If there's a cutout like this, it's acceptable to put a license plate, especially this European style, style one. Although this is kind of short for a European plate, but whatever. As you can see here in the blurb, 1986 for a 200 horsepower uh, compact car. That's good. That's pretty good horsepower. This car is getting rare and rare and rare worldwide. According to the market right now, it's like $87,000 now. See, you can't get any more hardcore than that. No stereo. Although there's a missing gauge in the middle, I think that's a boost gauge. Or if not a boost gauge, maybe a clock. Well, they can, they can find that on some BX forums or something. As a Filipino, sa mga kababayan natin, halos din nyo alam ito kotse na to. Ako medyo barely lang kalaalaman ko sa, sa mga French sports cars like itong GTA, itong Citroen na to. At least gusto ko i-highlight sa inyo yung mga sasakyan na you know, na kailangan kilalanin, hindi lang Civic, Accord, Lancer, Evo, STI. Hindi lang yung mga mainstream normie cars na nandyan. Kailangan rin natin i- pay attention na rin natin ng mga significant cars na mga taga France, taga Italy, like itong SZ na to. Ito, kahit saan, nakikita mo na yan. Pero, yeah. That's my opinion on it. I'm sorry for, be, for talking Tagalog a little bit, but my channel caters in two countries, so yeah. It's a globe, Filipino and global channel here. I'm just shocked that I seen this car here in in the flesh, this close. So, yep. The BX4 TC. Very unique, very rare car. Alrighty, bye bye.